എല്ലാ എൻ ടി വി പ്രേക്ഷകർക്കും എൻ്റെ നമസ്കാരം ഐ എം മുകുന്ദ് ദി അലുംനായ് മെമ്പർ ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് കോഴിക്കോട് ഐ ആം എക്സൈറ്റഡ് ടു ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസ് എ പവർഫുൾ വർക്ക് ഷോപ്പ് ഓഫ് മൈൻഡ് ഫുൾ ലീഡർഷിപ്പ് ഡയറക്ട്ലി ഫ്രം ദി ഡയറക്ടർ ഓഫ് ഐ ഐ എം കോഴിക്കോട് വിച്ച് ഇസ് പ്രൊഫസർ ദേബഷീസ് ചാറ്റർജി ആൻഡ് ദിസ് വർക്ക് ഷോപ്പ് ഇസ് ആഡിങ് ടു ദ ഇൻ കൺട്രി വാല്യൂ സ്ട്രാറ്റജി ഓഫ് മിഡിൽ ഈസ്റ്റ് because the improvement or a change must happen from the leadership this workshop is adding a new skill to the intellect of the leaders and professor debashi strategy has established a very versatile signature by way of delivering several leadership events content and value to the mankind across the globe Professor Debashi Strategy has been delivering sessions in universities such as Harvard, Oxford, MIT and many IIMs for that matter. And he has been present in countries like Australia, Canada, Japan and all other countries in delivering the same workshop on mindful leadership and earned a lot of global recognition. Professor Chatterjee has authored 18 books of which many are translated into multiple global languages. and let me use this opportunity to invite professor debashi chatterjee to uncover the transformative power of mindfulness in the context of leadership and how does mindfulness add to your leadership character altogether welcome to the show professor we are honored to have you with us today uh, sir if you could just set me the context of this event that would be great for us well thank you i thanks for inviting me in here the context is very simple the economy that we see around the world that's recovering from the post covid syndrome is moving from consumption to innovation and when an economy moves from consumption to innovation we always have innovation at the heart of enterprise we're in the middle of a technological revolution that's what most people think but the reality is we're in the middle of a cognitive revolution there is a revolution of cognition evolution of the brain and the mind uh, look at the evolutionary scheme of human life uh, we grew up as a physical entity in the physical world so physics was the dominant lens through which we saw the world and then chemistry came about when we looked at interaction between objects in our physical world and then came biology which was essentially development of a program that went beyond just interaction of chemistry so physics chemistry and then biology and finally when we thought that dna was the clear nucleus of all our growth and evolution we realized it's not biology it's neurology and the structure of the brain and the mind not the body that will determine the next course of evolution in business and life everywhere and so to understand new models of the mind is very critical and this is where the program mindfulness and leadership in the four points of the world come into play all right yeah thank you sir so that was uh, quite detailed and sir i have few more questions for you and we are a lot excited to listen from you Uh, to get more details about you know the purpose and clarity and, and the benefit of mindful leadership so let me start with my first question sir why is mindfulness such an important skill for the professionals and self you see the entire model of enterprise that you see today in the world is not based on the physical structure the models are based on the models of the mind and you can see if you are a nike or a reebok today you don't need to be present in all geographies own land own manpower capital all you need to own is a design which comes from mind as the economy is is transiting towards innovation you need an innovative mind and for you to have an innovative mind you have to understand what is the mind itself and the old model of the mind says that the mind is now inside our skull brain and we understand the universe based on whatever is happening inside the brain but mind is not inside my brain mind is in between brains mind is everywhere you now today if you look at a computer it can decode your speech your touch even your thought whatever what you think 
tra is transmitted technologically. So your mind travels, mind is not static. And so mindfulness is the ability to be aware and harness the functions of the mind that we do not know existed. And so a new understanding of the mind and how to apply those models that are now coming out from the cutting edge research that's happening all over the world and connecting that to ancient wisdom about what the ancients thought about the mind is essentially the recipe for this program. And if you are interested in knowing how you, you should apply your mental capability to solving problems, to moving on in life, to move the enterprise in different dimensions, to innovate, then you need to understand what mindfulness is all about. And this is absolute cutting edge stuff. And you'll, you'll relish the fact that you did not know a lot about your own mind until you attended this workshop. Thank you, sir. That's uh, quite insightful. So let me continue with my next question, please. So, so what is unique about India's orientation to the success of leaders? You see, the thing is that, it, that leadership is a function of those elements of the human mind that we never clearly understood. All of us have mental capability that can be broken down into four component parts. One, rationality. Two, emotional agility. Three, willpower. And four, ingenuity. These are four elements of the human mind. And we are a combinational lock of these four elements. We work in combination of rationality, emotional agility, willpower, and ingenuity, which is where innovation comes from. So if you understand how India has been bestowed with a lot of people who can work in uncertainty, because I, and life is uncertain all the time, whereas in most parts of the world, you drive on a road, uh, drive on the right or the left in india you drive sometimes on whatever is left and so you need ingenuity to drive and that has given us a sense of preparedness for the uncertain world indians are very cost conscious indians have the ability to use their mind ingeniously creatively and so these are some of the advantages that gives the indian leader a, a natural advantage but we also have to understand how the world is functioning we are, if you're stuck in the mindsets of the past that don't deliver so somebody in kerala is thinking that the government job that I'll get is the ultimate salvation. And if you start up here, you are asked to shut up. <laughs> that culture is changing, which means mindsets are changing. India is changing too. It's going to be one of the most innovative countries in the world. And to transfer some of the deep insights from the Indian context, from the leadership context of India, you have to change the mindsets of leaders, not just in this country, but around the world. The natural advantage uh, that that the Indian uh, leader has is, is it must transfer to the next generation. See, we must move from one generation to the other. We invited the chief minister of Kerala and the entire cabinet. And I was asked this question, can you help us win the next election? That's what the chief minister asked me. And my answer was, well, I can't tell you how to win the next election, but I can tell you how you will lose it. And and he was intrigued and he said, how do I lose it? He said, if you don't win the next generation, you can't win the next election. And so the po point is that the mindsets of the new generation have to be understood. And we have to understand that mind is very fluid. And so the elements that I'm going to talk about will come from the deep wisdom, not just of India, but from many traditions of the world, from the laboratories of neurosciences, or from biological sciences, from chemistry, and you will get an esoteric an exotic mix of insights that will be beneficial from the standpoint of a leader. Thank you, sir. That's inspiring. Uh, sir, I have one last question for you. So what elements of leadership are you going to touch upon during the workshop Mindful Leadership? Well, there are three core elements. One is clarity. How do you achieve clarity in clutter, information clutter, clutter of work, challenges, problems, clutter of multiple ideas, clutter of technology. You don't know how to use it. You don't know what kind of technology to use. So clarity is my first giveaway for you. It's a takeaway. Then the next element is going to be about compassionate engagement. How do you engage a person in a way that the engagement delivers exponential value? Not just linear value, exponential value, which means if I can inspire somebody rather than just make him perspire. <laughs> I'm going to be able to get 
lot out of that interaction or engagement. Why compassion is critical in today's world? What are the elements of compassion? How can you build compassion into your action choices? So this is going to be your second takeaway. The third takeaway would be to how to work and lead for excellence. And you, if you understand the word excellence from the standpoint of a country, let's say like Japan, what does excellence mean for Japan? For Japan, uh, it is not about technology. It is not about structure. It is about processes that deliver excellence on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, you see, if you replace the word atom and and bring in the word excellence as the core of the universe, of your universe, then whatever you do, the little thing, the smallest of things you do, will have the stamp of excellence about it. You receive a lot of coaching on day two of the program on what are some of the action choices that you have, what are some of the practices that you can engage in to bring about a transformation in your personal life and your work and how to bring about excellence as a way of life, not just in the way you live your own life, but in the way you conduct yourself as a leader. In the larger arena of the corporate world. That will be your primary three takeaways clarity, compassionate engagement, and commitment to excellence. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the wonderful spotlight. Uh, sir, as always, your inputs add directly to the intellect of the leadership practitioners. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, sir. This workshop is accredited by. Knowledge and Human Development Authority of Dubai. And this workshop is getting organized by Blue Z IT Consultants and Desert Side Training Institute. And the venue is Sheraton Grand Hotel in Sheikh Said Road, which is on 28th Feb and 1st March 2023, between 9 a.m. to 12 noon, both the days, which is Tuesday and Wednesday. And we look forward to welcome all of you there. And we wish you make the most out of this event. Thank you for watching.